Hi besties, welcome to my February wrap up. This is usually the part of the video where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's X month. The first two months of this year, I feel like have lasted like three months long or they felt longer than a normal month. This month I read six books and let's just say there were some disappointing reads, but also I found a few of my favorite books. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what I read. The first book that I read this month is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Mass. I swear it took me so long to finish this book, but it's also just because Sarah J Mass's books are huge and long and it's just a lot to get through but this is the second in the crescent city series if you haven't heard of the series basically it's an urban fantasy which like our main characters have cell phones and there's like modern tech it's very different from any other fantasy that i've read but house of earth and blood is the first book and basically we follow our main character her name is bryce her best friend ends up being murdered the whole story kind of follows them trying to figure out what happened to her best friend and it was super interesting it's not my favorite sarah j mass series i've only ever read Akatar and if you know me Akatar is like my child it's my baby and it's my Roman Empire but reading this was very interesting and this was all in preparation for the third book but I still haven't read the third book so I never ended up writing this book I'm still kind of in between what my rating is because the ending was absolutely insane which I kind of anticipated it because it got spoiled for me I think I'm somewhere between a three and a four stars that is the first book I read this month the next book that I read this month I've survived by Holly Jackson and if you know me you know I love Holly Jackson she just knows how to write a good mystery basically this book is about this group of teenagers who they rent an RV to drive down to I think it's Alabama on their spring break trip but their RV breaks down in the middle of nowhere and they're stranded and somebody's literally trying to murder them but what they don't know is that someone in the RV is working with the killer they're trying to figure out who in the group is working with the person and it's just very mind-boggling the plot twist was insane I was on the edge of my seat the entire time talk about an anxiety inducing book but I haven't stopped thinking about this book I think I rated it like four and a half stars but I'm obsessed with anything Holly Jackson writes if I'm being honest. The next few books that I'm about to mention are in my reading romance for a week video which I will link right here. I did Softy Enough The No Show by Beth O'Leary. I read this on Valentine's Day and something about it just wasn't hitting. It wasn't interesting. This is kind of the start of my reading slump if you will. I kind of want to do a reading books I did not finish video because there are so many. Maybe that will come your way this month. The next book that I read is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This is the second book in the One in Rome series. They can be read alone but they're kind of with the same characters intertwined. Our female main character is the sister of the male main character in One in Rome. I ended up giving this like three stars. It's a fake dating trope and I didn't really feel the connection between the two characters. It just wasn't one of my favorites. Now the next book. Let me tell you, I rated it two stars and you know it's bad because I don't even own the book anymore. So I sold it to a used bookstore near me and it is out of sight. And that book is Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. It was definitely a book. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I went into it thinking it was going to be really interesting it was kind of giving me like new girl but in London this girl goes and studies abroad and she finds out her roommates are both boys but the story was unbelievably boring that's all I'm gonna say about that if you want to hear more of my ranting you can watch my reading romance for a week video because half of that video is literally just me yelling about how much I don't like that book the next book which is probably one of my favorite reads of this entire month is Check and May by Allie Hazelwood this book follows Mallory and she grew up playing chess and competing in competitions and then one day she quit the family's really in need of money so she goes and competes in chess tournaments and that's where she meets Nolan and he's like the number one chess player in the world kind of a rivals to lovers story the book is considered young adult but I wouldn't put it in that category I kind of just looked at it as another Ellie Hazelwood romance and I loved it so much I know nothing about chess and I ate it up I was somewhere between a four and a five stars for this just because there were some characters that like were not my favorite the story so good the next and final book on my February wrap-up is kiss the sky by Krista and Becca Ritchie this is a part of the Addicted Callaway Sisters series. This is the first book in the Callaway Sisters series. I didn't know how I felt about Rose and Connor before I read this book and now I'm obsessed with them. Like literally tabbed the entire thing. Because this is in the middle of a series, I don't really want to give anything away. The whole plot of this is there's a reality TV show following the lives of the sisters. I will say the Addicted series is more like a character study rather than plot. So if you love just like getting in characters brains and just connecting with characters, definitely this. But if you need a plot, I don't know. If this is gonna be your vibe. Anyway, these are the six books and the one book I did not finish this month. Kind of a slower reading month. I'd say I read like seven to eight books on average, but we can blame it on the fact that February is a shorter month. I love you. Hope you love this video. If you have any video recommendations, definitely let me know. Anyway, love you. Thank you for watching.